What's up, Toosters? And two bets? Check it. So we got the big Lincoln, the stinking Lincoln, in for a new wig. Said it was time, baby. It was time, man. It's all cracked up and all out of shape and faded. So my guy just bought this car, man, and he want to put a new wig on the top of it. So he brought it to us. Now we finna figure out how to take this thing apart so we can install it, make a new cover for it. We got, we going back fresh white with it. So it only got two seams, one down the center and one around this back here. So we gonna, um, like you say, it got a lot of pieces to, um, to take off all of the trim. We gotta take all of the trim off. We just pour these off. They just pretty much slide. So we'll take out each screw and it should, it got screws on the inside as well, around here. So we'll take off all of these screws all the way around it, pull it off, strip it down, recover those. Shouldn't be too crazy, but we say that starting it. So Poncho got his cup for his screws. Oh, yes, it's already starting to move. So that's awesome. So Dean going to start making the pattern for the um, for the top. What you say before we take it off, right? So he want to make the pattern before we take it off. What thread we using? Polyester thread. So we're going to use polyester thread. And why we use a polyester thread, Dean? Polyester is an outdoor, not like a nylon, correct? So polyester isn't supposed to rot. Of course you can't put bleach white, different chemicals like that um, on your thread or it's going to pull out and rot off just like how these did. So you have to be careful with what you use to clean um, your materials with. Definitely use a material cleaner a leather cleaner upholstery cleaners not bleach bleach will destroy it in no time and so will the purple stuff trust me we see it a lot so once we get this shell off it's actually a shell so that's a good thing it shouldn't be too bad i covered one years ago on a cadillac so once we get this shell off, it's all just pretty much glued down on the inside. We'll pour the weather stripping off. And it's pretty much just glued around the edges here with a nice fit finish. A couple screws up front to hold it. Nothing too crazy. One more. We got one more screw. Let's see. No, look at this. Mm, let's see if we can figure out this one more screw. Okay. Yeah, one more screw. Boy, Poncho is so smart. That's why he on my team. Bam. And that's the light. Is it hooked up? Okay. And I'll leave that right there, puncher. Just leave that in. So we'll know where that go. Okay, so the light, how does the light come off? All of the trim slides. Yes, man, take it out. Like this. Oh, they got it right. Oh, cool. so they just clamp it. So we could just cut it. Cut it? Yeah, we could just cut it and put it back. 
since they already done um, cut them before, we'll just cut them and solder them back together. Here. There you go. Got that. Okay. We'll just cut it and solder it back from here. That give us enough room. See, they already had clamps on them, so cool. And just like that, man, one part of the shell is already off with just some bolts. So easy enough, we'll make sure we clean all of this gunk off once we get this top off, wash it down. So it goes back on nice and clean. So y'all lay around for the uh, finished product, man. So now we got to see how these doggone emblems have come off. Oh, Lord. These things don't never do right. But we're going to try our best. So I'll be back in a minute, man. I'll show you what it looked like once we get done. And we'll go from there. So this is the material. We got a white, smooth grain, pretty much. But with uh, uh, vinyl tops, you have to make sure that it has the fuzzy on the back. That is vinyl top material. It has that fuzzy on the back. Yeah, you can use marine grade vinyls, but this is proper use for vinyl tops. So we got a few yards of that. This should be enough. Hopefully, if not, I'm going to have to order a couple more. I didn't gauge those other pieces. But we'll figure that part out once we get there. So we're going to let him start making these patterns, and we're going to rock it from there. Sheesh.